Welcome back to the Moon Bears Dynasty. We are coming off our first game ever with uh, putting up 50 points, and it is doing some good work for us in recruiting. We're taking some big leads. We have, we're looking good for both of the four star players that we're going after. We also have a bunch of three star gems that are also looking good for us. We're going to bring uh, Gotel here, a defensive tackle, to today's game against Maryland. It was actually the first team that we ever played in uh, school history. So we are looking for a rematch. It was a close loss in year number one. It was 27-24. Uh, and we are definitely looking to avenge that. But the big game for Robinson gets him uh, player of the week in the American Conference. And then we advance the week doing some more scouting. We're going to uh, schedule a visit for Travis LeBoy. And then I also found another a gem down here. Uh, Madrid, a linebacker in state in New Jersey. But let's go on to our matchup against Maryland. They still have Hemby, the running back, who had a good game against us in year number one. And he's in his senior year, 88 overall. So he might be heading to the NFL at the end of this year. And... Maryland's only played one game, so not a lot of stats to look at, but they have a top receiver, uh, Houghton Jr. I'll have to look out for him. Only two catches in his first game. Now looking at the quarterback, they have MJ Morris, who got the starting job last year and did pretty good. 33 touchdowns, 3,500 yards. Didn't play that great in, his, in their first game, but definitely looking to bounce back here against the Moon Bears. Getting a win here today would be huge for us, not only to avenge our loss from season number one, but to show what we could do against a Big Ten opponent. It would be our first win in school history against the Big Ten. And let's take a look at the first drive. So Niver slides, only gets two there. An early third down and nine situation. The throw over the middle. This is caught by Stewart. Not enough for the first. The computer decides to kick it off. Maryland now with the ball. Now the backup is in the game for Maryland. He'll take the handoff and easily get the first as one of Maryland's offensive line is uh, taken off the field. They actually did not get the first, but Hemby comes back into the game to get it there. Now the his number gets called again, and he'll pick up another easy eight. Second down, Hemby will get them enough for the first. Now from the 26, he gets the, the fourth fish straight run. And he's finally taken off the field in the play action. Morris doesn't have time to throw. Isaiah Hastings making a huge impact on this team already through just three games. He gets another sack here today. That is three straight for the transfer defensive lineman. And now we're getting another sack here. This time it is Jaquez Blanks our starting right outside linebacker. Moon Bears will start with the ball at their own 16 yard line. Niver will throw this pass outside to the left. This is Varner on the catch. Now a second and 11. Niver does not feel the pressure. He's a lefty, but the pressure off the right, the safety came down. Perry Fisher where the Terrapins defense will be credited with that sack. Third and 17, and there's more pressure. Niver gets thrown down. Anthony Reddick this time. Comes screaming right up the middle, and Niver had no chance on that one. We go back to the Maryland offense. They're at midfield, throwing this time to Hemby, trying to get the whole offense to run through him. Here's the pass to him this time. Third and 14, the screen play does not work. Let's go to the next Moon Bears drive. This one's going out to Turner. He'll get eight. We're on the Maryland 40 yard line. Schwartz gets blown up. That's gonna lose us three and we're gonna have to settle for the punt there. Now we're back with Maryland. And we got him to a third down. Morris is gonna dump it off over the middle and Uluave will throw him to the ground. Not enough progress for the first down. And that is what we expect from our number one 
defensive player. Great stop by the Moon Bears defense. Can our offense do something with it? This pass will get us about eight. Second and two for Niver off the play action. He's going deep and just not, not thrown deep enough. Third down, Niver gets hit for the third time today. There's one minute left in the half. Morris will somehow sneak this one in. Now from the 41, Morris will throw this time. Malik Moon overplayed it. That's going to be a touchdown. Our senior quarter makes a huge mistake. And that's going to lead to Sean Williams getting the long touchdown to finally break this 0-0 tie. Just plays the wrong angle. No safety over top. It's 7-0 Maryland heading into half. Only seven rushing yards by the Moon Bears offense. Not a lot of time of possession, but still that seven is atrocious. Let's go into the second half. Morris corks this one up and that one's swatted down. We got him to a third down. Morris, the pressure in his face. That'll force the punt. Now we have the first drive for the Moon Bears in the second half. This pass to Julio Young picks up six. Now the player in motion and he just steps out. Loss of one. Third and seven. Niver's going to take off with himself. The burst of speed. He does have 90 speed. We don't see it that often, but that time gets us a huge play. And now on another third down, Varner will take us down within the five. Now it's time to close off this drive. The handoff goes to Stewart. There's nowhere for him to run. Loss of four. Now with eight yards, Stewart gets maybe a few, but there's a flag on the play. That one is going to be coming back. Turner with the illegal block in the back from the 17. We're going to run it with Schwartz. What a gutsy call, and he almost got in there. Third and goal. The handoff goes to Stewart. He's going to flip over the goal line. Touchdown. And it seems crazy to be backed up that far from the goal line and running, just sticking with the run game, but it works out here. Schwartz got him down within two, and then Stewart flips his way to tie in this game. Maryland back on offense. Huge play this time. That will get him into Moon Bear's territory. The play action and the ball is out. It was stripped by a Lavau Jr. Hastings has it. The big guy is running all the way down and they're not going to catch him. Isaiah Hastings, who had the sack earlier in the game, picks this one up and runs it all the way back. That's got this Moon Bears crowd pumped up. Maryland back with the ball. Second down. This is Jack Hines. A fourth sack of the day for this defense. Morris is going to need to pick up 15 here. He's going to bomb it downfield. That one's off the mark. Good coverage that time by Moon. And now the Moon Bears have a chance to pile on this lead. The four yard gain to Schwartz. Now Niver throws this one over the middle. He's got Robinson for the touchdown. Robinson is coming off the huge game last week. Really his breakout game in this offense. Now runs the post route. Completely smokes the corners and he's off to the races. And this offense is really starting to cook here in year number three. Maryland now finds themselves in a 14 point hole. Here's a second down. They're going to try to lean on their star running back, Hemby. He gets nothing on that one. They're going to trust in him again. Hastings, the huge tackle in the backfield. 
We force the punt. We're back on offense. Turner will get us to a third and two. We're in Maryland territory. The handoff to Schwartz. Big run. Now throwing over the middle. He finds Stewart. Down within the 14. Moon Bears are threatening another score. This time, it's, we're going backwards a little bit. Third and 10. We're just going to settle for the field goal, it looks like. With only four minutes left to play, we nail it. And with that score, going up three scores, I decide to sub in the backups. So we will just see our backup defense here for probably the last drive of Maryland, unless they can drive down the field here quickly. He's going to be brought down by Fitu Tuefa, one of the first recruits we got in the series. Now on a fourth and 15, this one's going to be swatted down. Brian Eberle is going to end the drive there. We can look at the backup offense. Artie Cleveland at quarterback. He will command the rest of this game. The handoff goes to Daniels. We're down at the third and one. We'll give it to him again, but the backup O-line can't block everyone. We'll just tack on the three points. And we have one more drive for Maryland, a minute left. They're trying to bomb it down the field. They're gonna get it against our backup defense. But a few plays later, it's a third and long for Maryland, they've got a guy wide open. What is our backup defense doing? It's not gonna matter, they're down three scores. But Sean Williams gets the easiest touchdown he'll ever get. They need the onside kick, we will easily pick it up. Eberly has it. And we're just going to kneel it from there. The Moon Bears avenge their week uh, year one loss to Maryland 27-14 to to rise to 2-1. And, and that should be the first time we are ever above 500 in this series. Season 3 is looking promising already. Niver really didn't have to do much work through the air. But just a combination of our running backs was able to get the job done. We have a little bit more recruiting here. Travis LeBoy from North Brunswick. He came to the game today and he decided to commit. We also got Gotell. Tyree Gotell was also, he was he is from Maryland and he was at today's game and he decided to sign with the Moon Bears. Graham Costanzo, another corner to add to our depth here. And we are in pretty good position for both of the four stars, although I am worried about Syracuse trying to steal both of our guys. So it's looking like we're going to have to bring at least one of these guys into the Syracuse game to try to convince, uh, sway them away. But we can't do both because they're both safeties. So let's bring in some of these other guys. Uh, Pete Powell's a three-star gem quarterback. And I think I'm also going to bring him to the Syracuse game. And then we advance the week once more. And no signings. Nothing really to update here, but we did find here Roberto Dingle, a three-star wide receiver. We could definitely use him. And another uh, gem we found here at wide receiver. In-state, Ron Jasmine will offer him a scholarship. And we also found a center, Tommy Morenci. No one's really going after him right now. Um, only one team is, but three-star gem will definitely play on our team. That is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And the rest of the video is just going to be the stats in case you're interested. But if not, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.